Welcome to our new exhibition at the Kelowna Art Gallery called A Sense of Place featuring sculpture from our permanent collection. This exhibition will be on from June 24th to October 15th. This exhibition includes artists from our permanent collection, all of whom are exploring the theme of place. Whether conceptually or literally, the artists here are thinking about their place in the world, uh, our place among uh, nature and the built environment, and discovering different ways of exploring that theme using different materials and uh, different ideas of form and space. Uh, the work here behind me is by an artist named Barbara Ast who is exploring this literal idea of place. And these three works behind me here, which are made of linoleum and wood, uh, really explore the 1950s uh, interior design aesthetic uh, and um, are interesting to her because they're representative of important places in her life and memories that she holds. Uh, so here we have cottage country, here's a, an interior of a rec room, and this one is called the Florida room, which would have been a place where she vacationed. So again, Again, looking at uh, memories from childhood to adulthood and exploring this by using different materials. These works here are by a Canadian artist named Richard E. Prince and he's really interested in the idea of um, that feeling you get when you walk into a museum and uh, see dioramas that might uh, peak, spark your imagination. Something that you can look at and picture yourself within the scene and these two here are uh, made of uh, different uh, multimedia materials but also kinetic sculpture. So this one on the bottom here is interactive. You push the button and you can watch the handmade mechanism move. And so it's kind of exciting to have something that uh, is both imaginative um, but also interactive. In the center of the room is this sculptural installation by John Nodston called Bumpered Objects. Uh, now despite their factory made appearance, this installation is intended to be playful and speak to the artist's skillful craftsmanship. Um, the artist is also criticizing uh, that uh, dichotomy between uh, the natural environment and the machine uh, made era. Um, so thinking of the way that these objects are made in contrast with the natural world and humans conceived authority over nature. This installation behind me is called Arcadia Revisited Part 1 by artist Byron Johnston, who has a long family history in Kelowna where his family owned an apple orchard uh, where he lived for many years and drew a lot of his inspiration from the natural world around him. These apples here on the wall are encased in an acrylic dome uh, and it's really the merging between the natural world and the built environment, uh, seeing both the plastic and the apples and tracking it over time to watch what happens to the apples uh, over the period of the next three months. Um, so we'll be tracking that in the gallery and it's part of the excitement of the installation. This installation is by Peter Woodford Smith and it's called Cultural Luggage. Uh, Peter is an artist that was born in Canada but lived his whole life in Australia. And on his first trip home as an adult back to Canada, he came to Kelowna. Uh, and on his stopover in Vancouver, they lost his luggage and he was forced to shop at Kelowna thrift stores to find new shirts. Um, so he decided to make a new art installation on site here at the gallery where he put his shirts uh, from the thrift store in these Ziploc bags and made paintings behind them that uh, kind of evoke the patterns in the shirts, uh, similar color palette, similar patterns, um, and it's uh, really a nod to the artist's sense of humor and also his artistic sensibility as a great contemporary artist. This sculpture here is by a Kelowna-based artist named Robert Dow Reed, who is well known for his public sculpture located around the city of Kelowna. This piece that's in our collection is made of whale ivory and soapstone and is called the Cocktail Party. It was made in 1976 and it's very special because it really represents his interest in water and his family's history on the sea. His grandfather was a sea captain and it's greatly influenced his work. 